On the MSI Claw Weight, there are three things that you must do in order to get the best performance, stability and battery life. And in this video, I'm going to show you three absolute must changes you need to make on the Claw Weight. The first change will be the CPU boost and why you should turn it off. The second tip will be how to update the BIOS manually to the latest version because by default on the MSI Center M it does not update it to the latest version. And finally, how to make sure that the VRR display is turned on because when you use the FPS overlay it does turn off. So CPU boost, BIOS and VRR. By default the Claw 8 comes with CPU boost on which is not good because right now I have not disabled CPU boost so this is what you get by default so running Half-Life a very easy to run game um, as you can see on the battery life here we are getting around three hours of uh, battery life with 76% so just three hours of gameplay with this game which is not great because this is a very easy to run game and, and we should be getting a lot more battery life because the CPU boost is on by default, it uses more power than it should be. So it is going up to around 5 hours. So, but if I move around, it goes down to like 3 hours, which is really bad. You know, very bad uh, battery life for this game. This is a very easy to run game. Should, shouldn't have any problems getting much more battery life. So now I will go ahead and enable... I mean disable CPU boost. So now I have disabled CPU boost and let's go back into the game. Now as you can see the battery life has just gone up to over 7 hours. So from around 3 hours to over 7 hours that's double the battery life. So I highly recommend you guys to disable CPU boost because in most games you do not need it and it can actually help you get much more battery life and in some cases if the game is very GPU intensive it can even increase performance I mean look at the battery life 9 hours 8.8 .8 hours almost 9 hours of battery life and before we were getting around 3 to 5 so almost double the battery life with CPU boost off The next tip is for updating the BIOS. Now, on the Claw 8, if you open MSI Center M, go to News and Updates, and under Update, if you go to Scan, it will go ahead and scan everything. Now, as you can see, I have the dot 10f bios which is the latest bios currently available if you have updated everything only through the msi center m your bios should be dot 10b not dot 10f but dot 10b now the reason for this is because the msi center m doesn't actually give you the latest bios so in order to get it you have to get it manually through the msi's website so if you go to msi's support page for clo8 I will provide a link in the description below so click on it and it will take you to this page choose the first model right here and under drivers and downloads you should see BIOS and under BIOS as you can see we have the latest version available which is .10f which is released in 26th of September 2025 you just have to download this, open the zip, extract, double click on the folder and there is a quick guide which tells you exactly what to do. So I'll open the English guide. So it tells you to extract which we have already done and then it tells you to double click, well right click on the flash win and run as administrator 
and then click on yes make sure the chlorate is plugged into the power source and um, then you can run it as administrator then it will go ahead and update your bios and that's pretty much it that's exactly how i done it and that's how it's done i am currently running half-life this is a very old game which should not have any problems running on the msi claw 8 now if you enable the inbuilt fps overlay through the quick settings so i'll just go ahead and go to the real-time monitor here and i will enable the fps overlay so now we have the overlay right here and if i start playing now for some reason it looks very choppy as you're moving the camera from left to right now i'm not sure if you can see it in the camera that i'm recording with but i can tell you that it does not look as smooth as it should be because it's running at the max fps of around 96 fps and it's just not smooth at all i mean i can see that it's quite choppy so why is that the reason for this is because when you enable the inbuilt overlay it actually disables the vrr now as you may know the claw 8 is a vrr display but the inbuilt overlay disables the vrr and as a result you get a very choppy gameplay so how do you disable i mean how do you enable vrr so how do you enable vrr well you just have to turn the fps overlay off by going back into the quick settings and just turning it off now i've just turned it off and if i go back you will see the image flicker as you can see the image is flickered and this enabled vrr now if i move the camera from left to right it's actually much much smoother than before exactly how it should be but the problem now is we don't have fps overlay so what if you do want the fps overlay and at the same time you want vrr to be enabled so what you have to do is you have to download third-party software uh, the best one is rtss and through that you can e and through that you can get the overlay which will not disable vrr but i do have another easier option so if you download the software which i can make another video for and show you exactly how to do it you can enable the overlay through here and now we have the overlay and at the same time vrr is not disabled so you get a very smooth image plus you get your overlay so like the video subscribe and let me know in the comments below um, if you guys want me to show you how to get this overlay without the vrr being disabled make sure you like the video subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you think of these three settings and if you have any questions or if you want me to do any more tips and tricks for the Chloate, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one